Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I've got this cool little park build to show you. I say a little as if I did it in a coffee break. The thing took four hours, like four hours. I must be crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, the full build, I got the idea for this on another build I was doing. Not a build I was recording, but I was just, um, just messing about, seeing what I could do. And I came up with the idea of trying to make um, an ice cream cart which turned out really really well the rest of that build though was really quite terrible so yeah that got scrapped but I just really loved the the ice cream cart that I had created and I thought I've got to get this into a build um, for the channel and show everyone because it it is, when you say it, it's like a really good idea. But yeah, so I came up with the idea of popping, 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 pop, popping that in, um, in a park. But you don't get to see that till the, towards the end of the build, but it is usable. So that's a good thing. Not usable in the sense that there's gonna be someone standing there, you know, selling the ice creams. But if you did have this in your game, you brought your Sims here, they could like walk over the ice cream cart, make an ice cream and walk about the park with it, you know? So yeah, the ice cream, not the cart. <laughs> Just thought I'd pop that in there. But um, yeah, also a lot of the parks around where I live, they're, they're quite old, they've been around for years. I think probably built in like Victorian times. But um, yeah, so they've, they've got like a load of areas that are, like look quite old. It's got old builds to it, like um, old Victorian type bandstands and things, just things like that. And then there's also areas which are obviously quite new, more modern. And I just was wanting to try and create park that is quite similar to that just stick with what I know really don't go too overboard with things but um yeah so they're in the middle of the park there's going to be like loads of trees and an area that is quite old and lots of sort of like overgrown type thing and then um, then we'll have like more modern things to the build like the basketball court you saw is just working on if you didn't get what that was that's what it's supposed to be a basketball court that sadly isn't very usable but also like the parks that i live next to they normally have like like basketball courts football courts tennis courts you know things like that so i thought i had to include something like that in the build and um, i was originally going to also pop well try and put in a um, tennis court but once I had done the basketball court I saw that that took up like quite a lot of this lot so I didn't bother with that we've just got the basketball court in this but um, yeah also pop in a kids park a kids play area and just um, oh yeah toilets can't forget the toilets don't need puddles all over the park do it but um, yeah right there I was just putting in the paved area where the chess tables are going to be and now I'm working on the pavement around the park and I chose to use a train paint rather than floor tiles to do that just because you get um, more free movement with a terrain paint you can create these curved edges and curved paths so I chose that rather than the floor tiles um, yeah, also popping in a fountain there and the building that I have popped near the fountain is going to be where the toilets are. Now moving on to the middle, I'm putting some grass in and also when I put down paths with the terrain paint, I do like to go around the edge of the path with um, some mud or just the, the terrain paint that's like half grass, half mud, like the dying grass, whatever it is. Yeah, I just like to go around the edge of the path with that, just to soften the edge a bit. Um, to make it look a bit more realistic and yeah I wanted some hedges in the park and I wanted them to sort of follow some of the curves of the path which wasn't going to be doable with the fence tool so I've took some of them little box hedges out of the plants and just put them on a slight angle and curve them round to try and make the, it follow the curve of the path if you don't know how to do that how to get more free movement with your objects you just have to hold the alt key on your keyboard when you have that um, object selected and also if you hold down the button on your mouse that you use to place objects and then move your mouse you can get more angles 
for um, the objects, but uh, I'm really bad at explaining stuff, aren't I? <laughs> hey, hi. Right now I'm putting some more flowers in and I've just kept it like the same flowers throughout because I know in parks that I've visited, there seems to be sort of, uh, how do I explain it? Like the flower beds, you can tell they're not natural, they haven't just grown there natural. There seems to be like a pattern in the way they are planted, um, colours could be grouped together. Also I've saw in some parks is where they write words out of the flowers, and um, they might have like the name of the park, or it might even just say welcome. But um, I haven't done that in this park, I haven't been spelling out any words. I think I did far too much of that in my last build so yeah I won't be doing that for a while <laughs> I won't be going back to that for a while but yeah just popping out some more plants and making a more so sort of like older area to the park where it might be run down a little bit maybe it's like when the park was first built it got used a lot but now there um people might not use this bit as often so there's obviously like the plants growing over things and um, moss and stuff. Just putting in some of the cobbled stone terrain paint there and also um, turning the opacity down on the terrain paint, getting out the soil one. And just going over various places on the cobblestones just to make it seem a lot more older and like it's been there over like a long period of time, it's been used a lot. And um, yeah, now working on a flower bed, which I think all of the flower beds I've used all of the, the same sort of placement of the flowers, the same pattern, the same flowers, and um, then white ones in the front there with a few pinks, and then the flower bushes and the big tall purple ones behind, and um, popping in a few more bushes too. Um, just mixing it up a bit, we're using the different bushes there hedges um because that's what you see in a park there is like loads of hedges around but they're not all exactly the same there is a variety but uh yeah and then after this i go on to the area next to the toilets and pop in the wishing well which i've never actually used before in a build and i thought well it fits in quite well here yeah, you know it's a park and it's something else for your sins to do but uh, yeah, getting out that cobblestone terrain again and just doing the same as what I've just done previously with that to try and make it seem a lot more, like it's been used a lot more and it's quite old. Putting in some lights and some seating around the place too. Um, and now I'm gonna start working on the chess area. So I get out two little chess tables for here and I also use the bird feeder. So there is that for your sims to do as well. And um, putting in some bins, some more seating. And oh yeah, I forgot about, I forgot that I did that. The little butterflies that we got with, I think it was the kids room stuff. Or oh, I could be wrong, I can't remember. But yeah, them little butterflies. I was just popping them in the bushes, so just to like be butterflies, really. <laughs> Rather than being, cause they are wall objects. So rather than them just being like like a decorative wall object, I wanted them to actually be like butterflies. I've done that in a couple of other builds um, in my campsite build. I used the little bunnies and I made like a little rabbit warren for them and put them there. I like doing that. I find that it, it, it just like brings a little bit of realism into the build. So I like doing stuff like that. But um, yeah, just going around some hedges there, putting in some soil under them. Now I'm going to start working on the area that is going to be where the barbecue area is and the, the child's play area is going to be right next to this as well. And um, just putting in a little um, paved area there for where the picnic tables and barbecue grill is going to be and then now I'm trying to mark out where the child's play area is going to be which I had a lot of trouble with because I really didn't want to redo that path but um, yeah I had to move everything and redo it just so I could fit in the child's play area the way I wanted it but it worked out in the end it 
goes quite well. But yeah, I came up with some cool ideas for the children's play area as well, because we haven't got a lot. The, the well, kids in general in this game just haven't got a lot. But um, there is like the monkey bars and the climbing frame type things. You've got like the pirate ship one or the spaceship one. Um, I was going to use the pirate ship one, but then I changed the idea and just decided to use the spaceship one. Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's not even any swings. Like that's a main thing that you would have in a child's park, like little swings. But nope, I haven't even got them. So again, I've had to get creative. <laughs> so I've put in like a little hopscotch thing. That's what it's called, isn't it? Hopscotch. That's what it was called when I went to school. Anyways, which was many moons ago. But <laughs> yeah, I placed it on the far side there and decided I didn't like it there. So I had to move it and it took way longer than it looked like it did. But um, yeah, also there's these other little things in kids parks where they're like either, they can be like a motorbike, a car, or a plane, or like little animals, but they're like on a little spring. So when the child sits on them, they can just like wobble all over on them. But anyways, if you know what I mean, <laughs> that's what I was trying to recreate with the little blue ladybugs. Um, so yeah, if you didn't, if you weren't quite sure what they were there for, that's what they are supposed to be. I just thought like the little antenna on the ladybugs, bugs, bugs, looked like um, handlebars. So that's what they are there for. But yeah, now working on the grill area, popping in some tables, and I also put in some trees around here. Um, I don't think I do any more flower beds around here. No, it is just trees around here. And um, going in with a train tool again, I do around here and getting in some grass. And then I think, after I've done this, I start working on the ice cream card. I think I do. Once I start fiddling about with all the trees. Oh no, I don't. I go under the toilet. Um, yeah, I, ha I haven't gone too crazy in the bathroom. I can't think of any more ideas to do with toilets. So they're just simple now, like a sink and a toilet. Put a little few things around there, plants, um, pictures on the walls, just to, so it's not totally bare. But yeah. And oh yeah, filling up this area from the the sort of like secondary exit entrance um just so it wasn't just totally bare around there making it look more old not old sorry overgrown and um, wild in that area but um yeah now i am working on what is going to be the ice cream cart just getting out some kitchen benches there and raising them up one to use as the main part of the ice cream cart also getting them signed there to try and create a sort of the push bar and putting other various objects around the sides just to try and make it look less like kitchen cabinet really um i haven't put any round the front i like the way it looked around there i like that um it had the the kitchen cabinet doors i thought that could be like maybe a storage area for the ice cream car also using some of them bird houses as the posts for the roof and then try and hide the bird houses with some shelves as i noticed at certain angles you could see up and it just didn't look very good with bird houses just in the roof there but uh, yeah just going around trying to find some round objects as well for the users the wheels and i came up with the idea of putting two um mirrors together with right sides together to create a wheel there and um yeah loads of move object ideas go into this but screenshots are coming up soon so i think i will just leave it here and let you watch the rest of this and uh yeah thanks for watching guys um tell us what you think of this build if you like it if you don't what have you but yeah i'm gonna leave it here thanks for watching bye
We would make the cutest couple mm. I didn't know you were playing And I'm just saying You gotta weigh in This is not something to die for You turn your back 